Hi there. Welcome to Apple World. So the pink sauce woman, Cook P, just had a breakdown on TikTok Live, where she conceded that she was a bankrupt young lady in a monetary wreck. Since right now I have $2 in my satchel, I had $2 in my handbag, not even $2 in mine. So culinary specialist P is hauling her colleague Dave's connoisseur for not putting in her time. As the maker of the pink sauce, she blamed them for finessing her out of her cash, and she requested that fans give $100,000 for her lawful charges. However, it seems as though she may very well be attempting to artfully exploit her own fans on the grounds that Dave's connoisseur chose to uncover her. Furthermore, tune in, this present circumstance is a train wreck. So is gourmet expert P truly over here attempting to trick her own fans? Cook P is struggling. Despite the fact that she made the pink sauce, she was an asset to me. Also, she's asserting that she has been monetarily so it's been some time since we found out about culinary expert P, also known as the pink sauce woman. What's more, we as a whole only sort of expected that things were going perfectly for her. The last thing that we had heard from her was that she was collaborating with an organization called Dave's Connoisseur, and they planned to team up and place her pink sauce in Walmart. That sort of worked out in the sauce, which hit the racks at Walmart recently, and gourmet expert P gladly showed it off on TikTok as she ought to. Um, that was the week before. How about we continue on? Part 2. Could we at any point kindly do that, or some of you all should be trapped in part 1? I'm prepared for part 2. In any case, it just so happens that there has been an insane measure of show and contention happening in the background since she as of late took to online entertainment to freshen up the dramatization. What's more, tune in, there's a great deal happening here. For those of you who don't have any idea what's really going on with this, tune in. You all better sit down since there's a great deal to unload here. Cook P turned into a web sensation and kept going year after year on TikTok for developing a pink sauce that she called Indeed, the pink sauce from the start. The sauce was a hit because of how pretty it looked. Be that as it may, it wasn't long before individuals began to have a few worries about how safe the sauce was. To put it into perspective, one purchaser tracked down a piece of sparkle inside her sauce. So I took out the container, opened it, and needed to stick my finger within it. In any case, there's a piece of sparkle. There were likewise a few worries on the grounds that the sauce is never a similar shade of pink, and in various containers it had various shades, with certain jugs being light and others being dim. And afterward, a couple fell somewhere in the middle between light and dull. There was likewise a disturbing aspect to her delivery in light of the fact that many individuals whined that their jugs detonated before it got to them, and it deteriorated in light of the fact that individuals inquired as to whether she had an FDA endorsement for the sauce. She said, furthermore, this. What do you mean by FDA supported? I don't sell clinical items. The pink sauce is certainly not a clinical item. The pink sauce doesn't add to your well-being. Indeed, obviously. That assertion got her hauled for quite a while since individuals were considering how in the world she was selling a food item and didn't actually have any idea what the FDA implied. I surmise somebody probably revealed her to the FDA since she got explored by them and they paid her a home visit. You all got me help from the FDA. I love disdain since God favors his children who have a good nature. She likewise guaranteed that the FDA planned to endorse her in two or three days. Furthermore, that is what made individuals considerably more distrustful, in light of the fact that getting endorsements normally takes months, at any rate. So it was basically impossible that she planned to get an endorsement so quickly. Individuals began accusing her of lying, and some even blamed her for attempting to harm individuals. Furthermore, there were requirements for the pink sauce to be restricted and dropped. In any case, before that could occur, she reported that she was banding together with Dave's Connoisseur, an organization that is known for delivering various sauces. She guaranteed that the organization planned to ensure that the pink sauce would have been created in accordance with the FDA norms and address all client protests on issues like ensuring the sauce had similar variety and consistency, the fixings being appropriately recorded on the label, and transportation of the sauce to ensure it stays all right for utilization and doesn't detonate. So the main jugs hit Walmart recently, 
and Gourmet Expert P was really glad for herself. Um, that was a week ago. Also, how about we continue on? Section 2. Might we at any point kindly do that, or should some of you all be caught in Section 1? I'm prepared for Section 2, presently. She had confronted a ton of analysis for her sauce, and it seemed like she could at last be placed on a path for progress. Her sauce was a hit, and despite the fact that there were still a ton of grumblings, they were not quite as terrible as in the past. Also, along these lines indeed, we as a whole sort of expected that things were going perfectly for herself and she was getting the pack. So imagine how stunned we as a whole were at the point at which she went live on TikTok to guarantee that Dave's connoisseur had been swindling her out of her cash, entertaining that she was owed as a piece of their agreement for the sauce. Not just had they been swindling her out of her cash, supposedly, but she additionally asserted that they had been attempting to quiet her and prevent her from revolting against them by making TikTok bring down her recordings where she uncovered them live. They continue to attempt to quiet me. They continue to erase the post since they know whether they see it, they know whether individuals see it. What will occur? They lie to everyone. I don't have the foggiest idea how my post continues to get erased. Yet it simply continues to get erased. Indeed, she at last went live to discuss what was going on, and she had a ton to say. The thing they can't do is take my inheritance away from me. One thing they can't do is be me. No more angel. Sauce. Pink sauce. Genuine quality pink sauce, they bombed me. I can't bomb myself. In the event that she asserted that they had been attempting to take from her, she planned to retaliate. This is simply insane. Yet, you all know soon they can't take from me. This is my inheritance. I know you've all been pondering something similar. What's happening? Like what? This is cheap. This is truly cheap. I'm ready to be done. She at long last got into the primary show. And you all need to simply tune in for yourself. How am I going to get the subsidy for a lawyer? They're attempting to monetarily damage me out of millions of dollars. These individuals sent me a negative equilibrium. Presently, she likewise guaranteed that she had gone very broke and just had $2 to her name. She additionally guaranteed that she was confronting removal from her loft and could scarcely bear to take care of herself and her kids. What's more, they were in an exceptionally terrible financial situation. She in the end chose to proceed to open a GoFundMe page where she requested that fans give cash towards her legitimate expenses so she could battle Dave's connoisseur in court since she was too poor to bear the cost of the lawful charges. She fixed the sum at $100,000 and she composed, I'll follow my instinct and went forward towards my fantasies and made a novel, a new thing. I committed a couple of errors along the way which led me to believe that an organization is attempting to remove everything from me. I have taken a stab at various events to attempt to come to an accord with them, yet they will not repay me for promoting costs that I spent my own assets on. I have been hushed and monetarily subverted. Presently, despite the fact that she was really disputable from the outset, individuals actually trusted her and had some empathy for her. We were all imagining that it was one more instance of an individual of color being cheated and harassed by a greater corporate organization that was attempting to benefit from her without cutting her reasonable portion. Furthermore, Day's connoisseur got hauled so hard internet-based that they, in the long run, needed to emerge and make an announcement saying Day's connoisseur has stuck to the conditions of the concurrence with Miss Shaw. We can't help contradicting Miss Shaw's claims. Day's connoisseur has paid culinary specialist Pete more than $120,000 to date, and it keeps on making all installments as due and on time. In light of the particulars of the agreement, we've proposed to repay Miss Shaw for her legal counselors. It's time to go over the conditions of the arrangement and how it connects with the installments that were made to Miss Shaw. Okay, so this was illustrating things other than what culinary expert Pete attempted to guarantee. Presently, as a matter of some importance, she attempted to make it appear as though she wasn't getting compensated anything and that the organization kept every one of the benefits. However, as indicated by Dave's connoisseur, this isn't the case in light of the fact that, as per them, they have been paying her as agreed. 
They even carried receipts to back up their case, and they addressed Insider Magazine. Insider evaluated screen captures of bank proclamations shared by Dave's connoisseur. Reflecting installments. It says it was made to Shaw as well as an organization called Flavor Insane Inc., which is enrolled in her name. There were 12 absolute exchanges in the screen captures, adding up to $120,000. The installment started on August 9, 2022, as per the archives given by Dave, and the most recent exchange happened on August 17th of this current year. So as per Insider Magazine, Dave's connoisseur made the installment as concurred. However, at that point, it seems that gourmet specialist P could have been terribly misjudged on how famous her sauce was on the grounds that she guaranteed in a TikTok video that it sold in excess of 200,000 jugs. However, need. She needs to see OK that is me. However, at that point, a few groups came up to expose this, guaranteeing that the source was placed on the blowout sale in Walmart. And that implies that it wasn't selling however much she guaranteed. It says the pink source is here. So how about we go see? How about we see? The pink sauce is here, you all. So Cook Pete felt that she should get a huge number of dollars, as she guarantees.